Hey everyone and welcome back to my cooking series. I'm super excited about it. We are in recipe number three and this recipe is one of my favorites. It's super simple, super easy, full of plant protein and I'm super excited to show you guys. I hope you enjoy it. I will be linking recipe number one and recipe number two throughout the video and I hope you guys enjoy. You can always switch out your pinto beans for 14 to 16 ounces of tofu. We usually add two celery stalks, but our celery went bad, so no celery in this chili. So the first thing that we will be doing is we will be opening up all of our cans of beans, throwing them in a strainer, and draining them and rinsing them off really good. Once all of your beans have been rinsed off and drained, you want to add them to your crock pot. Once drained, add to your crock pot with the beans. Now we will be dicing one whole red onion. And remember, don't forget to compost. We will be cutting one whole bell pepper. It doesn't matter what color, just one whole bell pepper. And if you cut the stem off, it helps make the bell pepper flat on that side to make it easier to cut. Once you have your bell pepper all diced up, we will add that to the crock pot. Now we will be peeling two whole carrots and dicing those up. Once you get your carrots all diced up, add those to the crock pot. Now we will be adding a whole can of fire roasted tomato, juices and all. Now we will be adding six ounces of tomato paste. Next, we will be adding two tablespoons of chili powder. Next, you'll need one tablespoon of cumin. Now you'll need one teaspoon of coriander. Next, you'll need one teaspoon of garlic powder. Now you'll need just a pinch of cayenne. Make sure you don't overdo it, otherwise your chili will be super hot. We don't ever measure salt and pepper, we just salt and pepper to taste. You'll need four cups of vegetable stock or broth. We love this vegan protein broth, it gives you a lot of protein.
Don't forget to plug it in because I always do. Now you'll put your crock pot on low for five to seven hours, or if you're crunched for time, do high for three to four hours. You can dump and go this chili, just make sure you cook it on low, or if you are at home and you're cooking it on low already, give her a good stir every once in a while. For toppings, we top it with avocado and some club crackers. Thank you.